everybody, it's Kristen, and I'm going to do a question and answer video for you guys. I asked on Instagram if you had some answers, some answers, if you had some questions, and I would answer them. I thought it'd be fun. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I have done these in the past. I'm opening my phone here. I have done them in the past, but um, it has been a little while. So some of the questions that I've answered in the past, I will maybe breeze over in a very short version, and I'll try to list those other get ready with, or those. There, not get ready with me. The other get to know me sort of videos that I've done, I will try to list those below <laughs> for you guys. So I'm gonna open up my Instagram here and I have, there are comments that people put on the picture and there's also direct messages. So we're gonna open up the direct messages and there will probably also be a lot of, holy moly, there's a lot of them. Um, there will probably be a lot of editing here because if I have to go grab a product or something like that, I don't know, we'll, we'll see whatever works best. But anyway, I'm going to try to go for about 20 minutes, my guesstimate anyway at 20 minutes, and um, then I'll, I'll do another one or something at some point. So let's go down here and see. Um, oh, well, the first one is from Judy, and she's Shuggy Baker, S-U-G-I-B-A-K-E-R. She's a really nice nail Instagram. And she said just a big thanks for all the wonderful work you do. So thank you so much, Judy. <laughs> Very sweet of you. Um, all right. This one is, um, it's just underscore B389. She says, what's one piece of advice you'd give someone starting out in the corporate world? Um, that, you know, that's a really good question. I would say be strong in who you are. Stay, meaning like stay true to who you are don't sell yourself out be strong to your values and your morals that that's what i would say just be strong in who you are uh, okay the next one is from natalie and she's been a subscriber for a very long time she said what are some small things that make your day better what do you do when you need to pick me up thanks kristen look forward to watching love your vlogmas so far your choir christmas party vlog really put me in the christmas spirit well good i'm glad that really was i think my favorite vlogmas so far we um if you guys don't know i have a vlog channel it's called game time and i always have it listed somewhere in my description box and and i'm doing vlogmas on my on my um vlog channel so some of the small things i do to make my day better music for sure if i'm just having a rough day i will listen to you know a song that i really enjoy something you know like now would be some sort of Christmas music probably, but by the way, I'm all like cozy and casual today because <clears throat> I just wanted to be cozy and casual. So um, I would say there are just certain songs that, I would, that I'll choose that I, if I want to really have a, a pick me up. So definitely that or um, texting back and forth with a friend for a few minutes, like a particular friend that I, that I know just, you know, does my heart good. So hopefully that answers your question. Oh, this, okay, so this is from... Jack L. Lizette, I'm going to guess that I'm saying, hopefully I'm saying that right. She said, um, when are you doing another snack video with your hubby or special guests? I do, you know what, I, I need, I have a couple I need to film, or at least one I need to film. I have a couple of boxes. So maybe I'll do it with my nephews when they're here over Christmas. All right, Alex from One Beauty um, Addict. If you don't know, I will, um, if you don't know her, I will try to remember to list her below. She's a great channel as well. She says, hi, Miss Kristen, what are your top fave videos to watch? Um, I would say probably favorites videos. I think I still really enjoy favorites videos. Um, I don't know if anybody has asked me this question, but I'm going to answer it right now. One of my least favorite videos to watch in case you're curious. And that would be declutter videos. I actually don't watch declutter videos. I, I don't know why. I just don't, I just don't dig them. And that's why I don't do them. Um, so probably favorites videos. I just love to see what other people are liking. I feel like I learn about new brands and new things. And there's always something new to learn. Um, Annette who is a, a friend of mine from Israel, subscriber friend of mine from Israel. She says, favorite TV show of all time. I didn't really think about that. I, Will and Grace, maybe. I'm, I'm so happy that it's back. Will and Grace or NCIS, the original? Probably one of those two. Although Friends and Seinfeld, come on. I can't pick just one. I just gave you options. <laughs> um... Where did Bob take you on your first date? So this is from um, Nadine. She's been a subscriber for a long time as well. She has a bunch of questions, so I'll try to I'll try to rapid fire answer. Uh, actually, our first date, he came to my house. It was a practically a blind date. We had talked over the phone and emailed, but I had him over and made him dinner for the first time. We watched football game. It was on January fourteenth, and we watched. Um, 
the Vikings lose in the playoffs 41 to nothing. I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, what is one product that you feel is missing from all the current beauty products out there? Um, that's requiring me to think and have some coffee. I don't know. I can't think of something right now. If I think of something as I go along, I'll come back to that. And what is one discontinued product that you miss? I miss that Lazor's primer from Guerlain. There were two of them. There was one that was all like the pearly sort of thing. That's the one that I liked. And then there was one that had like flecks of gold. That one I didn't like as much, but I loved that primer. Loved that primer. It was only around for like a summer, like six months sort of a thing. And then it went away because it was limited edition and it's so sad. It should absolutely come back. It made me so sad. Okay, there were a couple that were just commenting on pictures I had put on my story, so I had to quickly answer those. Um, so Valina said, love how organized you are. How do you do it? I, don't, I honestly don't know. I truly think that there's just something in my brain. I'm just an organized individual. I will say I do a lot of lists. I do a lot of pre-planning for things. I don't ever just go in without a plan to anything. Um, so I, I think pre-planning lists... Staying, I was going to say staying organized. You're asking me how I'm staying organized. But I, I don't know. I just, there's just something in me. My mom was, and my dad both are very organized individuals. So I, I kind of grew up watching that. Um, so yeah, I, I think lists and planning. Those are the two key things. You think, you got to think a couple of steps beyond what today is. You know what I mean? Does that help? Probably not. Okay, so Bahar from Beauty Tangent. She said, um... Did you and Bob consider adoption? You are both so wonderful with children that I just wondered. And I know that I saw this in the comments on the on my actual post as well. Um, we did. It's it's a long... It, it, I don't know how to get into it really without... Because it is pretty personal. Um, we did talk about it. We looked into it. It just wasn't something that was going to work out for us. Um, so many of the countries and even here in the States do like um, an open adoption and I just wasn't sure how I felt about that back then um, and because this was a long time ago that we went through this and um, some of the countries you can only be certain so many years older than the child you're adopting so we wouldn't have been able to get an infant and I really I don't know I just really wanted an infant I don't I I know that there are tons of children of many ages that needs ado need adoption, but at that point in my life, if you remember, it was a long time ago, um, where my head was at, that's what I wanted. I, I was grieving the loss of not being able to have my own child, and I just wanted an infant. I just did. And so that, that eliminated a lot of avenues for us. And when we looked at um, adoption here in the States, most of the adoption agencies that we had available to us did open adopt like not not no and I mean they do do open adoption but they would do like there's this whole process that up until you can have the child for so many months and the and the mom could or dad could still change their mind and I didn't think my heart could take that I really didn't so that's a <laughs> sorry that that's um that's kind of the short answer of the adoption thing um, how do you organize jewelry and choose outfits? This is from Daisy Doodle, 04. And I have jewelry, and maybe I'll show you guys sometimes. I have my earrings on, on things back here so that I can see them. And then I have this amazing, maybe I'll stick in a picture or something. If I have time, I'll, I'll do a little video and, and, and stick it in after this. But it's from Bed Bath & Beyond that you can hang your jewelry on behind the door so it's nice and hidden. So that's how I do that. Um, and how do I choose outfits? Uh, I usually kind of just, I, I guess I kind of think about the day, you know, that, that's going to determine whether it's casual, dressy, whatever. And then, um, weather, probably the day, weather. <laughs> and then I'll kind of throw in, try to throw in a little cute factor if I can. Um, all right. So Dana Fruit said, if you could go back in time and change career paths, what would you do? Um, so I never like to say, oh, I should have done X, Y, Z. There are a couple of things that I think to myself, oh, I wish I would have, like, I wish I would have spent a year in, like, Chicago, living downtown, um, you know, just, like, li living around all that energy. That The energy of downtown Chicago is so amazing. Um, so I, that, you know, 
I, it would have been nice to have done that, but like all the steps that I've taken in my life have led me to here and I'm happy about that. But I wish that I would have done something in the cosmetic industry because it is such a heart and passion of mine. Um, probably something in the training sort of realm because I really enjoy training no matter what it is about. Um, I really enjoy training, so hopefully that answers your question. Laura Beth, 41... 680 <laughs> 41680 um she said did you get a promotion at work if so what's your title i okay so there was a lot of work questions so i'm going to answer that not hers but like kind of a lot of the questions i saw on the instagram post i was in inside sales for 14 years and then in april i was promoted to outside sales and so that just means that i used to travel just a little bit for work you know when we'd have a sales meeting or something like that um and then i have shifted to outside sales and no, now I work from home when I'm not traveling. Just had to have a little sip of coffee there. So <clears throat> that's what I do. I sell to distributors. I don't sell to like the end user of a product. I sell to distributors and yeah, so that that's, that's work. It's really not exciting. All right. So GSA Kitty Mama said, oh, actually she was replying to a picture, <laughs> but hi. <laughs> Oh gosh. All right. So I just paused to answer her. She, I was flying through Minneapolis the day before I'm filming this video and she, she, uh, thought I was actually in Minneapolis, like to stay there. And she was like, how about a meet up at the mall of America? And I may do that actually. The mall of America is only about four hours for me. And so it might be, it might be a spot where I could do a meet up at some point if, if people would want that. All right, so Mary Joy, who is a friend of mine outside of YouTube as well, she said, how are you enjoying showing off your new home to all your family and friends, especially with all the pretty decorations? We really are enjoying it, actually. It's been a little bit stressful because we hosted Thanksgiving, we hosted a, a party, and now we're hosting Christmas as well. But I really have enjoyed it. I'm excited for my sister to be here because she hasn't seen it yet, um, and her family, of course. But So we are, we are enjoying it. I, I really am very happy with our, with our move and our home, and so is Bob as well. I just opened up one that was from Steph from the Wonky Brow, and she was sh sending me a picture of a new brush at Sephora. It's the number 22 that she really likes. So, so thank you to Steph. All right, so now there are more in here that every when, if you guys send me a message and um, it's the first time you've ever sent me one, I have to go in and like ap approve it. All right, so M D T E D E. I don't even know. M I, I don't know. But she says. Perfect timing because I was actually wondering if you could find yourself reaching for different jewelry, most earrings. Oh, if I find myself reaching for different jewelry now that my hair color has changed. You know, a little bit. What's funny is that I wear a lot of gold earrings. So, like, I picked these ones today because I knew that they would show through, you know, kind of my hair and add little colors to my very otherwise boring outfit. But, um... I mean, I've changed a little bit, I guess. I don't, like, I feel like gold doesn't show up as much. Actually, no. I would say, <laughs> let me rephrase. I don't think I've changed. I've just noticed changes. Like, when I wear gold, I don't see it as well. Or if, you know, I like to wear more, I, I, I'm trying to pull out some colors. So, I mean, maybe yes and no. I, I haven't consciously changed. That's what I'm trying to say. So, anyway, that was, that was kind of a real roundabout. All right, so, K. Matthew. So I'm going to guess that's how I say or mathite. I'm not really sure. How do you have so much energy in the morning? I'm so jealous that you are disciplined to wake up so early and get so much done. Coffee? I've always been an early riser, actually. Even in college and, not, and although I've always been not quite this early, but I've always been an early riser. The, the key for me is that and the, the really early stuff started when I started filming YouTube videos. It was the only way for me to get my videos done before I would go off to work because early on I didn't have the um I don't have the flexibility I have now like that I can just stop working walk from that room to this room and film on my lunch so it that kind of started with that and it's because it was important to me filming I really enjoyed it it was something I I I wanted to do and wanted to make the time for. Um, you guys became a very important part of my life and I wanted to do it. So, and, and then once you, once you get up early a long time, it just becomes habit. Um, so there you go, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that answers. Um, somebody said that I, that they noticed I haven't been um, using any camp products in the last month. Did you miss something or change up your skincare? Camp, um, they sold the business last year in December. I've talked about that several times in my empties videos, but that's why I've been finding new, um, this is from Angel, 
by the way, Loris, L-O-R-R-I-C-E. And um, so yeah, I still have a couple of moisturizers that I'm actually, I'm using one right now. Um, and I will miss it dearly when it's gone. But yeah, they sold the company and then I, I don't know the people who bought it didn't keep it open. I, I really don't know any more than that. That's the extent of what I know. Uh, this was another question from Jessie about the Camp Cosmetics stuff. So I've, I've answered that and she said, love you. I love you too. Um, all right, so Redsway73 said, best non-transfer drugstore mascara. Tips for keeping lower lash line in place, not waterline. Thanks so much. Can't wait for the video. Love from Canada. So um, I, I feel like, I, and I want to say this, I, some of the things that work for me don't work for others and vice versa. Um, but so I will, I will say one that Emily uses that she really likes, and that's the no it's not the clump crusher what is it I think maybe it is the clump crusher water resistant she really likes that on her lower lash line actually you know what I have one right here um no but is it the supersizer I don't know but this is the one for the record that I keep in my kit that's why I have one right here my kit but um I, I on occasion I will do makeup for other people so this is the supersizer and this is the waterproof one so I always have that for you know brides and that sort of thing I like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I feel like that is a really good. It doesn't transfer on me at all, upper or lower, so I really like that one. Tips for lower lash liner, <laughs> lower, <laughs> lower lash line liner in place. Two things, one, use a shadow instead of a liner. It's generally will work a little bit better for you. And if you're having trouble still even with that, you put your primer, your eyeshadow primer, whether it's Urban Decay, Wet Wild, whatever you're using, put that, in, you know, what's left on your finger beneath your lower lash line and that will help as well. What celebrity would play you in a movie? <laughs> I have, oh, and this was from K. Dobiecki, K. Dobiecki. Yeah, I don't know, but I've had tons of people say that um, I look like Melissa McCarthy. So we'll go with Melissa McCarthy. Why would anybody make a movie about me, though? That's the bigger question. Uh, all right, so um, D. Shugel said, What are some must-have makeup brushes? What brand do you like? I only have a few brushes and want to build up the brushes that I have. Thanks, Danielle. So it kind of depends on what you're talking about. There are, you know, there, I like a range of brushes. If you're just starting out and want to try a good set of eye brushes, you don't want to spend a ton of money. The Beauty Junkies eye set is a great eye set to start with. Really like that one. If you want to kick your game up a notch, the Wayne Goss eye brush set is amazing. It's amazing. It's really, really good, particularly if you have hooded eyes. Um, for face brushes, I really like a lot of the Sephora brushes have great face brushes. It Cosmetics has good face brushes. Of course, I love the Tom Ford bronzer brush, but that's really expensive. I don't, if you're just starting to get into brushes, I feel like it's better for you to buy an inexpensive set of brushes. Kind of figure out what brushes you like and need. I, I can remember when I first started out, I would buy like all different kinds of kits and they were always the same sort of brushes I never used from those kits like a flat foundation brush. I don't use that. I don't like that sort of application at all. Some people really do. I just don't. Um, so I think it's, I think that's the way to get started. And then when you figure out the kind of brushes that you like, so if you like the size, like the size and shape, but you don't feel like the quality is as amazing, then that's when you could invest in from another line. Does that make sense? I'm clearly talking too much. So I had to take a little break and have some coffee. So um, the Sarge, who is a long time follower. She says, um, she says, Kristen, you are a star. Thanks for that. I'm not really, but I appreciate that. Uh, she said, I'm a long time follower. My question is if you could choose your own first name, what would it be? Big love from UK city of culture from Hull, UK city of culture. And you know, it's a big joke in case you guys have heard, um, David, like be on one of my lives or whatever. He calls me Holly. And that's because back in the day, I did a tag video where I talked about when, we, when I was little, I used to like make them when we were playing school or house or whatever, I always would t make them call me Holly. I don't know why, but I don't know that that's a name I would choose if I, instead of Kristen, like to have, you know, for life. I don't know that it would be Holly. Um, I don't know. I think I just really, for a long time, I made people call me by my middle name, which is Noelle. So maybe I would go with Noelle. I just feel it's a little more sophisticated or something. I don't know. But I do really enjoy Kristen. 
Okay, so I am going to, I, those are all the direct messaged ones. I wanted to um, make sure that I could you know, talk about those. So I know there are a ton of questions on the actual picture about my hair. So I want, I'm just going to try to answer some of that here. Um, instead of like read off the name and everything since the question, I know it came in a bunch. So there were some questions about, first of all, the why. Why did I change my hair? So... I am the first person to say that I definitely am like a control freak. I like to have control over things. And sometimes when I feel like there's a situation that I'm not in control of, like there's nothing I can do about it, that sort of thing, um, I, I just get this itch to do something that I can control. And um, this time it was changing my hair to blonde. So this was not a decision that I made one day. I was like, eh, I think I'll go blonde. If you were to ask my friend Paul or my friend Steven or, you know, Carissa, like my friends in my life, I've been talking about going blonde for a year, well over a year before I even, you know, went. Actually, I even talked to Eric, who is my hair genius. I even talked about him about it before I did it. So uh, I <laughs> I just really, I don't know. I just, I want I wanted to take control of something in my life and I decided it was going to be my hair. And I am very happy that I did that. So again, it took me about a year to actually, you know, make the decision to move forward with it. And I, like I said, I'm very, very happy with it. I, I like it. It's been a process. And so if you've not been around all that long, I used to be, okay, now I can't remember if it's a level like three, maybe. Is that what the dark is? No, I can't remember if I went. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I used to be a brunette. <laughs> And so I, it's been a process. So the first part of the process was um, <clears throat> Eric went through and lightened, did like a lightener on my hair. And so it went to this really pretty sort of auburn shade. And um, I, it was a great color on me, absolutely. But I can't continue with auburn because I'm allergic to red dye. And if you put red dye on my hair, my scalp really goes wonky. And actually right now, I, I don't know why, but this last treatment really did a number on my scalp. It's very dry and a little bit itchy. So I think I might literally just like rub oil all through my scalp before I, you know, and let it sit overnight or something before I wash it the next time and see if that helps a little bit. I think that and the weather change hasn't helped anything either. But anyway, if you guys have any ideas and have ever dealt with a dry scalp like that, let me know your thoughts below because I would appreciate it. Um, okay, so... That was the first step. And then the next step was he went through and foiled my whole head with lightener. And then this time he went through and did a weave foil instead of not my whole head, did a weave foil and just lightened up the this part of my, you know, like my base. And I really want to keep that grounded with having my base be a little bit darker. Um, it kind of goes with my brows a little bit more. And I just feel like it's a, a little more grounded and looks a little more natural than a white, white, you know, like blonde or whatever. I originally was going to go a step lighter than this. Even this I just had done a few days ago. But I, I think I like this. I think this is where I'm going to stay. And in between the lightening treatments, we did a bonding treatment, which is... I don't know what he called. I can't remember. He told me what it was called. It's not Olaplex, though. It's something, I think, similar to that. And it's just something where he goes, puts the treatment on. It helps keep your hair healthy in between, you know, doing the lightening treatments. So I did it slowly so that my hair wouldn't fall out of my ding-dang head. And I'm very happy with it. I think that the ends, you know, he, I, just, I did just have him cut it. And the ends, just kind of right here, look a little bit... <laughs> school bus look a little bit dry but I just put a little bit of um, oil on them after I've styled my hair and that helps and it and it you know it, it, it works and I'm very happy with it I really like it so that is the hair story and I will do a video there's enough of you I think that maybe are interested in it kind of talking about the products that I'm using on my hair now and that sort of thing all right so Rob's 0144 no 0114 said if I could go on vacation anywhere where would it be and it says uh, money is no object and your job responsibilities are thoroughly covered so you can be, you can be anxiety free. Where would you go and why? So I really think I would love to go to Wales, Ireland, Scotland, England. That is where I would like to go very, very, very much. And at some point, maybe, maybe I'll do that. I don't know anything about traveling out of the country. All I've ever done is go to Canada and we went to Mexico for our honeymoon. And that's the extent of my world traveling. So that's where I would like to go. And I think Bob would enjoy that as well. Um, <clears throat> somebody asked for my thoughts on the um, Packers. They, they are a Packers fan living in New York and they want to know this crazy year. It has been a crazy year. Oh, with Aaron Rodgers. And, uh, 
I don't even know what to think aside from I'm sad. It's 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 sad. I mean they're they're doing all right. I mean Huntley's doing all right, but anyway. Um, if you're makeup fairy, Godmother Granity, one discontinued limited edition product, what would you choose? It would be that primer I talked about before, for sure. Um, Leah K, no, JKK, she's a longtime subscriber. She asked what the cabinets are to the right of your, or what are they for? The ones that are to the right of my microwave? I'm assuming you mean, like, to the right of my microwave is my stove, and then above my stove, and it's uh, those, those cabinets? If you're asking about those, those are, that's where we keep the liquor quite frankly. But if you really mean to the left, but it looks like it's to the right based on my vlogging, the up down, then I have, um, it's kind of, kind of the top one for a pantry and the lower one has like, um, Rubbermaid and Tupperware in it. And then it also has a shelf of all my baking goods. Uh, if you could use one brand of brushes for the rest of time, which would you choose? Wayne Goss, hands down, beyond a shadow of a doubt, Wayne Goss brushes. When you travel, this is, these are all from her. When you travel to Northeast Florida on vacation, can you do a meetup and hang out? Sure, if I ever come to Florida, I will try to do that. If it's not a work thing, I can I make no promises if it's a work thing. Um, <clears throat> oh, you know what? Somebody did ask about the, the hair process being expensive. It's been a little bit more expensive than my normal hair upkeep because I've had to do things like in between. But I think in the long run, I don't think it'll be that much more expensive. Um... Curry and Heels, who's a longtime subscriber, she said, what are your Christmas traditions? And um, we, for sure, Christmas Eve at church as a family is a tradition of ours. Um, I would say probably one of, the, one of the ones that we all remember is that when our stockings come from Santa, um, we don't open them before. We open everything we do, we do as a family. We open our stockings as a family. We open our gifts as a family one by one. It's not this mass crazy paper flying everywhere and you don't get to see the reaction on, on the face of the person you gave the, the gift to. So it drives Bob crazy because his family did not do that. Um, so it drives him crazy that we take so much time to do it. But that way we just enjoy the day and we're with each other and we're laughing. And so probably I would say th those are some of the, the, the uh, Christmas traditions. This is probably getting long, so I'll do just a few more. Have you always been energetic or do you take a magic potion you can share? I think I've always been pretty energetic. Um, now that you're traveling very often for your job, does the travel give you anxiety or you just go with the flow? Um, it used to give me anxiety, but now I pretty much just go with the flow. Um, the biggest thing that I would say that I do is I don't, I try not to travel on a day that I have an appointment like when I land. I, my appointments are always, either I have them and then I fly out or I have I fly in that day and I have one the next day and that that is what I need to do in order to not have anxiety do you use a setting spray why or why not I do sometimes but not always um sometimes if I just feel like I'm really dry or have like I've done too much powder I look a little powdery then I use a setting spray and it just kind of like melds everything together fix plus is probably my favorite Okay, so um, CD65 says, what motivates you to keep doing videos and vlogs? Have you ever considered stopping either? By the way, please don't stop the videos. Um, I have actually, I have very much considered. I feel like YouTube has changed a lot since I've started. And I don't know that I love the direction that it's going, but I love you guys. And I mean that very sincerely. I, every time I think about stopping, then I will get some comment, um, whether it's my vlog channel or my main channel that says, or, or an email, direct message, or whatever, saying, you know, thank you so much. I'm struggling with, say, postpartum depression, or I'm struggling with this or whatever, and your videos just really help me get through the day. You know, apparently I have a soothing voice. I wasn't aware. <laughs> so I get, I get, I'll get a comment or something like that, and, and that reminds me that I'm doing more than sitting in front of a camera. And I have a relationship with you guys that I've developed over the six years, however long I've been doing this. And you've become an important part of my life. And I don't, so while I consider it, you know, it, it comes through and I, I, like I said, I really have. Then I, that I'll get something like that almost the day or two after I start thinking about that. And I'm like, yeah, you know what, this is why I'm doing it. And I do enjoy it. I very much enjoy it. Just sometimes, um, it, you know, the schedule gets me a little bit. And, and so when I, when those things have happened, I've changed things. Like I used to keep myself to a thir Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday upload schedule. Like 
and, and I just couldn't do that anymore. And I was like, well, either I need to let myself go with the flow and upload when I can, or I need to stop. So I, I'll make changes. I make adjustments so that I'm able to continue doing it because I do very much enjoy it. Um, all right. So Mary from Glitzy Fritzy asks, do you like mixed vegetables? <laughs> we know how you feel about your eyeshadows touching. How do you feel about vegetables touching? She's funny, by the way. Um, so she's talking about that hourglass, those hourglass eyeshadow palettes. I just couldn't deal with those because the shadows all touch each other. And dri would drive me crazy. I, I know I'm an odd person. I realize this, but, um, I do not like mixed, most mixed vegetables, actually. I prefer to have either just beans or just broccoli or just cauliflower or... <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> um, how did you and Bob meet? I actually have, that's, I've talked about that quite a few times, but we met where I was working. Um, his sister was, I was working as a cellular phone provider at the time. His sister was buying from a phone, buying a phone. I've had some questions, you know, I asked her some questions or whatever. He emailed me and the rest is history. Um... All right, so a gal said, you know, what skincare products have you replaced your Camp Cosmetics with? Really, I've been trying lots of different things. If I had to pick right now, I would say the Algenis Genius line is what I would choose to use going forward as far as moisturizer and uh, um, for eye cream, because those are the two things I really liked from that line. That The vitamin C I liked, but I liked the Ula Hendrickson better. Um, I, I've learned that, but when I went back to the Ula, Hendr Ula Hendrickson vitamin C serum, I was like, yes, I really do love this. So the two biggest things that I had to replace with the, the, my eye cream and my moisturizer, and I would say the Algenist Eye Balm, not the Genius one, but the, the original Eye Balm, and then the, the um, Genius, I think it's Ultimate Anti-Aging Moisturizer or something. I really like that. It's really, really good. Um, what's your favorite Christmas memory? And what is the lip combo that you feel is universal and everyone needs to have? Um, favorite Christmas memory? I should probably stop here. There are so many more, you guys, that maybe I'll film a part two. If I have a chance, maybe later today I'll film a part two and put it up in like a week if you want that. So I guess I'm going to have to film it and hope you want it. Ha! Anyway, so what is your favorite Chris Christmas memory? I have to say this. Um, it's not so much a Christmas memory, but I've, I've talked about this before. My parents gave us an ornament every year from pretty much age three on. And in one of my moves back in college, they got lost. And so for a couple of years, I, I just sobbed every year when I put up my Christmas tree because I knew those were important to me, but I don't think I knew how, how, how important they were to me until I didn't have them. And then one year, my dad found them. They had, I, I must've, we must've given, I must've given them to them in the movie said here you know take can you hold on to these and then didn't remember the next year that that's what i had done with them and they didn't remember so um my favorite christmas memory is my dad bringing those ornaments over to my house and i mean i just was so happy they just because of that i give my nieces and nephews an ornament every single year and i know that particularly my nephews don't give two hoots about them now but someday hopefully they will appreciate them as much as i appreciate mine um I'm a sentimental fool, I tell you. And then a favorite lip combo that everybody needs to have. Well, you guys know I love that Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> lip combo. It's really my fa my favorite of all time. But one that I want to say is actually a Mac lip combo, and I don't have I don't have it right now. I've used up my Viva Glam Five. I, did that take Did that take some of you back to the old days, the old Kristen days? I really think that Mac Half Red lip liner with MAC Viva Glam 5 over the top of it is a great everyday work, night, what, whatever the occasion could be, that is a great lip combo. And actually, I really, I really would like to get the Viva Glam 5, so, because uh, I still have half red, but I feel like that, that that is a great lip combo that everybody needs to have. All right, so I have been filming for about 40 minutes. I know that there is some, like, time that I'll be um, editing out of there. <laughs> Because I was looking, um, or I was answering questions. In amongst the direct messages, there were like questions about other things I had posted that I wanted to answer. So I know this is going to be a long one. I hope that you enjoy it anyway. I will, like I said, maybe this afternoon um, or on my lunch or something, I will film another one and put that up in like a week or so because you guys seem to have a lot of questions. So perhaps I will do that. Actually, you know what? I will do that because I'm going to be traveling. So it'll be something that I already have ready that I could edit and put up for you. So, um... On my face today. Okay, I was trying to tell you guys what was on my face, and I 
pulled the cord that my camera's plugged into and it totally fell forward. And it just took me about five minutes to make it not be blurry. <laughs> so thankful it's still functioning. Okay, on my face today, I think is the, the very last bit of my Chanel LeBeige. We'll see if I can get any more out tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the last little bit. Um, the same It CC Plus powder that I've been wearing. On my eyes, on my lids, I have the L'Oreal Infallible in Amber Rush. And if you've not combined this with this palette, you need to. This is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes, and so that's the other shades that I have on my lid. I think I just have a little bit of peach tart, just ripe, and then um, peaches and cream in the lid, or <laughs> in the crease. And then for blush today, I have the Makeup Forever Sculpting Blush in the shade number 22, which looks like that. And then on my lips, I have a combination of Oh, uh, I don't have it down here, but <clears throat> Pink Nude, the this Neutrogena color stick in Pink Nude. And then I wanted to add a little more color, though it's pretty much gone now because I've been talking for 40 minutes. Um, but this is the one in Fresh Orchid. And I think that's everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for giving me the questions. What's funny is that on my live this morning, somebody said something that I was like, oh, that's a good question I should ask. Oh, I remember what it is. I'll ask it on my next video. But um so look for, look for a question for me to ask you guys on my next question and answer video that will be up in probably a week or so, something like that. All right. Thank you again for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.